Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video. This video is the monthly tag collab with other YouTubers. If you're interested in next month's collab or just the whole monthly thing, DM me on Instagram. It will be my description. And this one, we're going to be doing the New Year's tag. And there's about 12 questions. It's a little bit shorter than the Christmas one or December one. <laughs> And yeah, let's get into the video. So first question is, if you could look back on one memory from last year that you wish you could relive, what would it be? I wish I could relive 2020 again and not have this pandemic happen. Like I wish in 2020 a pandemic did not happen. So with that being said, if I could just relive 2020 without a pandemic happening, that would be great because the two times that I traveled, I would have done way more things. And yeah, I probably would have also gotten a full-time preschool job if the pandemic didn't happen. So I would like to relive the whole 2020. Number two, what was one New Year's resolution that you accomplished? Knowing that there was a pandemic, I did not accomplish anything. I don't really tend to have New Year's resolutions, so no. I did not accomplish anything. <laughs> I feel like my one New Year's resolution was to get a full-time preschool job, but with the pandemic, I got a preschool job, but it's part-time because of COVID, so yes and no, but no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, number three. Three words to describe last year. Loss, depression, understanding. Number four. Best music related creation slash inspiration last year by an artist in your opinion. I can't think of a song at this moment, but if I'm editing this, it will be somewhere around here. And I will share it. But at this moment, I can't think of a song. Probably some like sad or depressed song because 2020 was really sad and dark and not good. So, <laughs> all right. Number five, something you look forward to this coming year. Definitely going back to teaching in person. Hopefully saving up for a new, my own place. Not a new place, my own place with my boyfriend. And hopefully moving out of the state of California. But if not, then we'll probably still get our own place within, I don't know, maybe just for one year and then after that move out. Number six, what did last year teach you? Last year definitely taught me to cope with anxiety, how to deal with stress, how to deal with just staying in the whole time trying to like take out my boredom what to do grab a planner write down journal <laughs> start up a small business number seven what was the most worn clothing item of last year probably leggings and jeans that's basically what i wear most of the time if i just have to stay in number eight if you had to sum up your year in one word, what would it be? Learning experience. I know that's two words, but I can't think of one word. Number nine. What are you hoping for more of this coming year? I'm hoping, like I said before, I can get back to working full time. I'm hoping to get my own apartment and... I'm hoping the world will go back to normal. Well, normal, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Number 10. What are you hoping for less of less of this coming year? Pandemic? <laughs> Being in lockdown and depression slash anxiety. Number 11. Best book you read last year? Ooh, this is a good one. So I was in this book club last year and I think I only read like the first two books. After that, I just did not have time because that's when I got my part-time preschool job. 
So, I feel like the best book I read would have to be One Small Thing by Aaron Watt. Probably put it up here. It was a really good book. Definitely recommend it to anyone that's looking for books. And if you haven't read it, number 12. What is your New Year's resolution for the upcoming year? Like I said, I don't tend to do New Year's resolutions, but I kind of like said it within this video. I hope to get an apartment. That's number one for sure. And go to work, go back to working full time. Like literally those are the two things that are stopping me. Because if I was working full time as of last year without the pandemic happening, I would have probably already saved up for a new place and I would probably be getting it soon. Those are the main two things that I'm hoping for. Doesn't matter what question you ask me. <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys like that video. Comment what your New Year's resolutions are this year and how you would describe 2020 in one word. And if you aren't subscribed, subscribe. Give this big, can give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.